Welcome back to another episode of Quake and Bake. My name is Cupquake and today we're gonna get festive with some holiday cookies. This video is sponsored by Destiny 2 Forsaken. They're having a holiday event called The Dawning starting now till January 1st where you make cookies in game to get loot the cool thing is that the recipes in game are actual real recipes, so bakers, get ready to bake. Destiny 2 Forsaken is a multiplayer first person shooter video game developed by Bungie and published by Activision. It's available on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC via Battle.net for under $40. The world is filled with secrets to explore and discover. And during the event, The Dawning, players can bake cookies to give as gifts for in-game rewards. As you gather ingredients and bake items, you'll also progress towards unlocking the festive new Slay Sparrow. Once you have your ingredients, you can start combining them to create tasty treats like gala doodles and chocolate chip cookies. So first off, we need to make our sugar cookies. We're just using a basic recipe. You're going to be needing your choice of sugar cookie mix. My recipe calls for 12 tablespoons of butter and one egg. In a mixing bowl, beat the butter with an electric mixer on low speed until creamy. Next, add your egg and blend together. Once mixed, slowly add your sugar cookie mix and combine until dough starts to form. So once the dough is formed, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm going to sprinkle some flour on my roller and my rolling surface. Roll out the cookies to a quarter of an inch thick. I found this hexagon cookie cutter and we're gonna use this to make cubes. Cut out your cookies with the cookie cutter and use a spatula to transfer on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. So while our cookies are in the oven, we can begin creating our royal icing. And for this recipe, I'll put a link in the description for the recipe I followed. So I used two egg whites for four cups of sugar. Beat the egg whites until they're foamy. Once they're foamy, start slowly adding the powdered sugar into the mix. So we're gonna need a few colors for these cookies in particular. We're going to need one that is a light blue color with a thicker consistency, and this is gonna be used to outline the cookies. We'll need the same color in a more liquidy consistency, so I've added some water to the mix, one dark blue liquid consistency, and one white for the decoration. So now that I have all of my icing ready to go, our cookies are nice and cool, ready to decorate. So I'm gonna start off with the light blue thickest consistency to outline all the cookies and create a cube-like shape. So I'm starting off with the center line so I can get a nice cube shape, then outline the whole cookie. Next up, I'm going to grab the more liquidy light blue and we're gonna fill in the left side of the cookie and the top side of the cookie and the right side of the cube with the dark blue. Now I'm gonna grab the white icing and create the design that is on the side of the gift box. If you wanna create some variations, you can create one that has the Dawning logo. I've created a Destiny logo cookie, or you can just stick with the gift box design. So that's all I've done to create the Dawning gift box cookies. It's a little bit meta because it's a gift box of cookies that's an actual cookie. Whoa. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video and Quake and Bakes in general, be sure to leave a like on the video. I'm gonna put a link in the description for you guys to go check out Destiny 2 Forsaken The Dawning. I am so happy with the way that they turned out and it really does scream holidays. And I just love it when games incorporate like little holiday festivities and special events in their game because it makes it feel like like the spirit, the holiday spirit is around. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Cupquake, and I will see you guys later. Bye.